A student at USI who is diagnosed with Tourette syndrome says he's being asked to stay out of the classrooms and off campus because of his condition. According to him, reports of, quote, profane vocabulary in inappropriate situations prompted university leaders to ask him to learn online. 44 News reporter Valerie Lyons is live tonight from the university as fellow classmates stand behind the freshman. Well, a petition in support of Seth has been shared online, and after just one day is already nearing, you can see right there, 8,000 signatures. I can't always, you know, hold off from having a tick. Ticks, repetitive movements and unwanted sounds, symptoms of the neurological disorder known as Tourette syndrome. It's uncontrollable and something Seth Pressler has suffered with his whole life. Offensive things that, as a good per as, as like a person who tries to be kind that I would never want to say and then my Tourette's you know makes me say things that I would never want to say. He says the university knew about the extent of his condition but after complaints to public safety he's been told to move off campus and finish the semester online. It was a tick where I'd be like a gun a gun or I, you know I have a gun and you know sometimes it, would, it wouldn't happen for consistently constantly it would happen you know maybe a few times a day uh, in random places but I would always explain to everybody in the room like oh sorry like I legit got Tourette's you know a no offense meant. And now a petition created to support him is gaining traction. His friend says that support is only growing. It went by a table in the breezeway today. Uh, someone had a table and they had a chalkboard that actually said uh, they had written on their uh, stand with Seth on them. In a statement, the university said it is aware of the petition but cannot comment directly on this case, but that USI deeply values and supports diversity and inclusion for all. And Seth says no matter the university's decision, he's thankful for for the support he's been given. I'm grateful, very grateful, and I feel very um, supported and loved and blessed. And Seth says if the university were to reverse its decision and welcome him back, he would accept, but that his view of the university would no longer be the same. Live at USI Tonight, Valerie Lyons, 44 News.